Hey guys, today I get to share with you my best coaching strategies that I learned and practiced myself and with my clients to stop eating sugar because sugar is one of those things that stops a lot of people from achieving their health fitness and other personal development goals actually because sugar also affects our mental and emotional balance so how do we stop eating sugar one of the best strategies is small simple steps i definitely failed a lot in this strategy before I understood the power of it and that it actually works compared to other strategies that don't work so well. So small simple steps, what does it mean? It means that for most people going cold turkey with everything just doesn't work. So instead of quitting everything, maybe quit soda this week and replace it with some other drink. Maybe the next week you're gonna try to quit any sugary, sugar-containing snacks and replace it with something else. Maybe the next week you're gonna conquer cookies and pastries. Maybe the week after your coffee drink. Small, simple steps, one at a time. The next one, guys. Before you master your relationship with sugar, and that might take a while, I highly recommend not to have candies or stashes of any other sugar-containing items that you, I know, love in the house. Like, figure it out, because otherwise it's gonna mess you up, it's gonna mess up the whole routine, because out of sight, out of mind still works. And if you see something more often, one day you or somebody you love gonna eat sugar and sugar is not a great thing for anyone anyhow guys out of sight out of mind out of your house another one guys very important one is changing your trigger places places where you for example order your frappuccino or some other sugary drink so your science proves that our behaviors it's a chain of Sim simple certain steps, simple steps. And once you change the first step going to a certain coffee shop, you can change the whole chain, re uh, chain of actions much, much easier ordering some other stuff. The same goes to um, grocery shops, where you buy your food, where you used to buy your sweets, uh, maybe places where you used to order desserts. So, change the first step, go to different places, and the whole chain gonna be changed much, much easier. Another one, guys. I used to do this mistake all the time, like so many times, and that's why probably I struggled so many years with sugar. So we either tend to fall into the pattern of eating whatever, whenever, or going on some super restrictive diet both of which are not ideal at all. So the message is, don't starve yourself if you want to successfully finish your sugar addiction. Eat balanced meals. Whenever you're hungry, eat a piece of fruit, eat some nuts, eat some protein, eat some vegetables, eat something. Don't starve yourself. That's not gonna help with your sugar addiction. When it comes to supplements, guys, is there anything that can help you with sugar cravings? Actually, there is. For example, this one I've been using and recommending to my clients for quite a while. I use it whenever I need to get super lean and need to suppress my hunger. But it's also a lifesaver when it comes to cravings, sugar cravings, carbohydrates cravings, and suppressing your appetite naturally, and you might need that. So this one has 5-HTP, Jemima extract, chromium, and B6. It's really great combo, but you can also get each of this separately. So this one really works. Guys, is it easy to quit sugar? Not at all. Otherwise, everyone would do it. Is it possible? Of course, it is possible. And there is a better way than training your willpower that you don't have a lot in the first place. Nobody does. So use my advice, I used it successfully, a lot of my clients used it successfully, use it, and if you need more help, reach out with your specific 
challenging situation and I'll do my best to help.